Hello, this is uh, Nellie Deutsch and I'm on Moodle for Teachers. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about week 4 and Moodle MOOC 12. So the first thing I'm going to do is log in, of course, so I'm logged in as one of the participants. I'm going to go into week 4. Week 4 is right in the center here, so you just need to click on it. Let me click on it and take you there. Everything's actually uh, quite clear, but uh, this video may help you navigate the week. So first thing you need to do, of course, is make sure that you understand everything. And if you don't, you go into the support area right there. There's going to be a live online class. Please uh, register or at least let me know if you're coming, yes, or if you're not, and then submit. There is a poll that's a block, as you must have figured out by now since you're in week four and we had blocks in week three. So notice here is a live class again. It's on the right over here and it's also in the center. You click on it. The content is right there, PowerPoint presentations used in the webinars and this particular one. Next, notice that there's a team work discussion form. First of all, you need to go into the team policy, learn all about it, and then you can add your teamwork once it's finished. Next is the syllabus. You'll be designing your own collaborative course, so you might need to learn a little bit about how to fill in the syllabus. Once you get it done as a team, you will add it to the discussion form right there. Notice 85 seem to have been added, or at least the discussion is going on there. If you need to know more information about how to copy the Google Doc, you can learn more about it here because you're going to copy the Google Docs and then you're going to add your teammates, their emails, so that they can have editing rights and add to it. All right, so that's the uh, team policy, team syllabus. More about it in the live online class. Next, you're going to, of course, demonstrate the process, how you got things done, and uh, create a screencast-o-matic video tutorial capturing the steps as you go. Always keep this in mind that the process is very, very important. It's a way for us to share and, of course, for you to learn. And as we always say, teaching is learning and by showing us the process we will learn along. Next is the Padlet. You'll be adding your work to the Padlet. And the Padlet is right here, so make sure that you add all your videos there. You click on it and you'll be taken there. Just click on it. You don't need to have an account, but if you do, it's a lot better. So this will also appear without the account, but we want to know who you are. So that's the next stage. The way to add to Padlet is go into the plus, which is right here. You click on the plus and you're given a few options. You're going to add your videos, so that's the option for that. You need to double click and then you add your title, you write something here, and then you can upload the video. But sometimes if it's too long, it won't accept it. So I suggest you publish it on YouTube, as you have been doing, and then add it as a link and then it'll appear. That's how it's embedded. Okay, the, besides showcasing your collaborative courses, you will have a chance to go on to week five and see what's ahead. Week five, of course, is going to be uh, another thing. It's completely different and you'll have a chance to learn to be a manager of a Moodle site. So you might want to go into that and take a look once you finish everything in week four. For questions, once again, make sure that you go into the support and ask them. Have a great week and happy moodling.